Hello and welcome to the Quantizer. In this video, we're going to go over simulating high pass filters in KiCad. We'll show the output in the frequency domain as well as in the time domain. So if that's something you're interested in, then stick around and we'll show you how it's done. The first thing we need to do is open up KiCad. So let's do that and create a new project. Let's call it HPF for high pass filter. And then let's open up the circuit. So um, let's zoom in a little bit here. This should be good. Let's press A to add. The first component we want to add is a source. So we're going to grab this voltage source right here from the P spice section. Say OK. Add a capacitor, C for capacitor. So R to rotate. Let's place that right there. And then A to add a resistor. Let's put that right there. Then let's add some grounds. GND. Okay, and while hovering over, press C to copy. You can put that right here. Then we'll start wiring. Press W to wire, and then just left click whenever you get to the component you're wiring to. There we go. And there's our last one. All right, so we now have our circuit wired up. We now need to add some of the values to these different components. So let's let's press E to edit this source right here, and let's edit the spice model. And under uh, source, there is the DC and AC analysis section. So when we go to run the simulations, when we do a DC or an AC analysis, it'll pull from here. Uh, and then when we run a transient analysis, it'll pull from here as well. So we're not going to run a DC analysis, but we'll just say zero for there. And then uh, for the AC analysis, which we will do, we'll say a one volt as its magnitude and a transient, which we'll also do as well. We want to run a sinusoidal um, source here with a no DC offset an amplitude of one volt and a frequency of let's give it a low frequency of five Hertz uh, as we're testing out a high pass filter so let's see how it works in a lower frequency range okay that looks good and now we need to add the component or the values for our uh, capacitor and resistors so the capacitor will be a 10 microfarad capacitor and the resistor will be a 10 kilo ohms resistor Okay, we have it all set up and we're ready to start the simulation. So go to Tools, Simulator. Let's bring this to this side of the screen. Right there. Move that over here a little bit. And uh, one last thing in the settings, we have to tell it which type of simulation. This is where we get to pick the different ones and we'll do an AC sweep at first. And we'll tell it I want 10 points per decade. And I want to start at one hertz, and I want to end at 100 kilohertz. That should give us a good, a good range to sweep across. So let's run the simulation. Click the probe button and probe the output. And there you go. There's the, uh, there's the, the response of our circuit. You can see our, our frequency response right here in red, and then the phase um, as the frequency goes up here in green. And if we want to see what the values are at specific uh, frequencies, we can put a cursor on. This, uh, this gain graph right here. And let's go check out the 3 dB point because that's, a, that's an important one. It's the half power point. And it's around uh, 1.57 hertz will, uh, will be the 3 dB point for this, uh, this configuration. And if you wanna modify the circuit, you can come in here and edit the values or you can press this tune button and click on the resistor, for example, and then just kinda move it up and that shifts the 3 dB point further down the frequency scale here. And so that's now closer to 1.1 uh, or you can lower the resistance like that and just kind of see how it moves the 3 dB point up the, uh, the frequency line right here. And so there you go. Uh, one other thing you might want to do is to evaluate how this circuit works for a given frequency. And to do that, we'll just run a different type of simulation. Uh, we'll go settings, uh, transient, and uh, we'll have it uh, do 0 0.001 seconds per step with a final time of one second and initial time of zero, which is the default. So we'll just, we'll just leave it blank. And then let's simulate and let's probe the output. And there is the output of our circuit. It's not that, not that attenuated uh, from the input. In fact, we can tell by probing the input see the phase has shifted a little bit um, but yeah it's it's pretty close and uh, if we want to change the characteristics again we can kind of modify some of this stuff and you can see that the uh, um, the attenuation is less with a higher resistance value and also tune the capacitor so we can see what happens as we raise that up or lower it and lower this 
And so, yeah, we can adjust, you know, the uh, frequency response of our circuit by adjusting these components and kind of seeing what the outputs will look like uh, before we actually go build something. So that's, that's pretty useful. So if you want to know more about high pass filters, we have more information at thequantizer.com. There will be a link down in the description where we have all the math behind it so you can understand exactly how this, uh, this circuit works, uh, plus some calculators and some other neat stuff and, uh, and some other KiCad simulations. If you want to uh, see some other circuits and how we can simulate them and see how they work, uh, be sure to visit us at thequantizer.com and uh, like and subscribe so you can get our, uh, our, our content as it comes out. You'll see, uh, you'll see some, some neat stuff. So, um, yeah, we're glad you uh, could be here with us, and thanks. Have a nice day.